Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. Today in this video, I'm gonna go over what is an intercooler and what does it do? So behind me, I have my 2009 Mini Cooper John Cooper Works, and it's a turbocharged vehicle from the manufacturer. So I'll show you right here. This is the turbocharger. So the turbocharger is gonna supply air and it's gonna get it from the intake when it's installed in there. So it's gonna suck the air from the intake into the turbo, and then from there, you're gonna be creating boost and pressure on this side of the turbo. From there, it's gonna go down into the hot side of the intercooler, which is over here. So it's gonna come into the hot side of the intercooler, down, and right here, all the air that's in here is hot. So when you have regular air that you're say sucking in the car, say it's 20 degrees Celsius. When you compress it and you compact it and compact it and compact it, and say you're making 20 pounds of boost, that 20 degree air is now say maybe 30 or 35 or something like that. And hot air means the air is gonna be larger which means we're not gonna be able to put as much air inside each one of the cylinders um, when we're driving the car and when we're trying to make power. Now, when we're, what we're doing right here is we're installing uh, this, which is an intercooler, and this intercooler is gonna allow all that hot air that's originally on this side to move across the intercooler, and while it does that, there's little fins in here, and you should be able to see through it. I'll just grab the light quickly. See how you can see through it? Well, what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow air to pass through the intercooler, outside air to pass through, and it's gonna cool down the air that was on this side, which is hot, and then once it gets to this side, it's gonna be cool. So say you're gonna be going from, uh, I don't know, let's say with 40 degrees on this side to say 20 degrees on this side. Now the difference between a large intercooler like this and a smaller one like this is say that the air over here Say that this is again 40 degrees. Well, on this side, once it goes through here, once the air travels from one side all the way to the other, the air might not drop as much. So it might be, I don't know, 35 degrees or 30. All I know is that the more air and more surface area that's gonna be right here, so the more air that's gonna travel through this, the cooler it's going to be. And on top of that, we're creating more surface area. So there's more fins along here. So that means that air is gonna be more willing to come through here and cool down the air that's traveling from one side of the intercooler to the other. So it's gonna travel from here, from the hot side, through the intercooler to the cold side, through this piece right here. Up over here, we have our mass airflow sensor. Once we follow this down, this is where we're gonna have our throttle body and our intake manifold attached. So. This piece right here is gonna be attached like that. And then from there, it's gonna be connected to the engine. So the main difference that we're gonna notice between the intercooler and piping found on the right and the intercooler and piping found on the left is that, well, first off, look at the size of the intercooler. The intercooler on the left is a lot larger than the one on the right, which means that we're gonna be able to cool down the air much better from when it goes from the hot side to the cold side. Now on top of that, the piping is very different. Now I'll take the camera off the tripod and show you guys up close what I mean. So if you take a look at this piping right here, you can see that there's multiple weaves of nylon found on the inside of the pipe. And this is gonna make it so that the piping is not gonna really move too much change it out of round, and it's also gonna allow us to put more air through the intercooler and the turbo safely. So because there's more nylon on the inside, it's not only stronger, but if you take a note, look at the size and the style of this pipe right here, as opposed to this one. You can see it's more or less the same shape, but when we come down close, what is this? This is essentially a muffler for the intake. So this right here is gonna go from uh, you know, a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure, and once it gets to like the little resonator, it's gonna slow down, and because this is somewhat restrictive, it's gonna not allow as much air and boost to come through here. On top of that, once we take this off, by installing this new piece, we're gonna hear a lot more of the turbo. So, that's gonna be gone. All of this piping, see how it's like wrinkly and, you know, not that pretty? We've got much smoother bends on this one right here. Now I just labeled that for my sake, but look at the bends here as opposed to this. 
Look at that like crease right there. That's not that nice. So all of this piping is gonna go. The OEM intercooler is gonna be gone. And we're gonna have to unfortunately keep this piece right here. But this is a hard piece. You are not really gonna be able to get much better than that. But once we install this one on our mini, we're hopefully gonna be able to see much cooler intake temperatures. And in turn, we're gonna be able to see more horsepower. Now this video is gonna be short and sweet. It's only gonna be me explaining what an intercooler is, what it does, and showing you the differences between the nice large one that I'm gonna be installing on the Mini and the OEM one right here. If you guys wanna see how I go ahead and actually install the new one on the car, stay tuned. I'll have a link for you in the description box when the video comes out. Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, and check the description box for that link. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, throw it down in the comment section below and I'd be more than happy to help. Again guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.